Hey designer, Alex here, welcome to the channel and in today's video I'm going to explain to you why I think you should always start your UI UX design projects with paper wireframes. Before we start today's video, make sure to check my membership link is going to be down in the description below. Membership contains all of my courses, design products, mentorship and project files for these YouTube videos. So if you're interested, make sure to check it out. Link is going to be down in the description below. Now let's get started with today's video. So in my opinion, paper wireframes are the most important part of every design process because in paper wireframing stage of the process, you can flush all of your ideas down on a piece of paper before you even turn on your computer. I think that's the most important part because you can break stuff easily on paper while you can break stuff easily in software, it's going to take you much longer. It's going to take much of your time, the time that you can invest later into design. Because paper wireframes are used at the beginning stages of each project and therefore uh, you're much more uh, inclined to break things uh, more easily. You're going to test things here and there, check few layout options. For example, is this image going to look uh, great here? Is this button going to be uh, positioned in the center or to the left? And you just get the overall sense and you just get the overall design direction. Where should you take your design? It's going to take you much faster to do that on a piece of paper. You can scrap that piece of paper, you can start all over again, and there is not a software out there which is going to allow you to do that faster than by using simply pen and paper. You can use regular old printing paper and you can simply use a pen. What I like to do is when I travel, I like to carry things like these, which is just a booklet and you can find whatever you want and it doesn't have to be anything fancy and that's what I really like about uh, paper wireframing. You can get all of these uh, different thicknesses of paper, uh, different grading of paper. You can get a uh, clean white paper. You can get a black paper. You can get paper in all kinds of different colors. For example, green, uh, yellow, and so on. You can get it with lines, with uh, squares, with dots, whatever you want. But my uh, advice right here is simply focus on the end result because paper doesn't matter. Any paper is paper, any pen is pen. You can use whatever you want, whatever you have. It's really uh, not that important. What it is important is to get those ideas from your head on the piece of paper. It's much more simpler to uh, investigate possible design directions, possible design layout on a piece of paper than it is in software. Because uh, when you want to get started, you have to turn on your computer, you have to turn on Adobe XD, you have to set up the document, you have to save it to the cloud or to the desktop, you have to name it, you have to structure your grid, you have to um, create new artboard size, you have to, for example, duplicate that artboard size, you have to set up guides, you have to set up grids, all of these things. While you do all of that, I may have finished my paper wireframe. So that's why I say it's really extremely important in my opinion to do paper wireframes because they are cheap, they are fast and they are there just to help you guide you through these uh, first steps of every project because they're much faster than any design software out there because you can much faster flush those ideas from your head down on the piece of paper and you don't even have to share that piece of paper with anybody, it's just for you. Or if you're working as a part of the team, you can easily get feedback from your teammates because everybody can simply use once again a pen or a colored marker to mark what they like, what they don't like. And you can simply make those changes on a piece of paper before you move on to Adobe XD and basically finish up that and polish that up everything inside of Adobe XD. Thank you for watching this video. I really hope you found some value in it. If you did, make sure to press that like button. I upload new videos every single week here on the channel on design, passive income techniques, motivation and more. So if you don't want to miss that, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.